I felt all the feelings. It was an emotional roller coaster. You touch on the justice system, the mm -hmm. foster care system. Mm -hmm. I read that you said that this film was sort of a love letter to your daughter mm -hmm. who came to you through the foster care system. Mm -hmm. um, tell me how it gave you a better understanding of her and just the system in general. Well, look, there are systems everywhere in place, you know, I think to help at the beginning, but when you're born into poverty, you don't have the resources that should be afforded to you from birth. Um, you don't have the abilities that I had by luck. No other reason. I was born into luck, you know. Um, so once you learn the stories, once you learn what really exists out there for millions upon millions of people, you, you have to, your judgment goes away, you feel shame, you feel sadness, you don't understand why you're in a better place and they're not. And Lila taught me a lot. She taught me a lot just by me looking for her. Um, and once you see that, you can't unsee it. It's my job to somehow keep telling stories in a way that make people understand something that by birth you can't understand, but by by speaking and learning and researching, you can put yourself in their shoes. And, and when that happens, you, you want to do nothing but correct, you know? Yes, it's fine. Know your, your episode of Red Table Talk premieres tomorrow, and I was lucky enough to be able to see a few clips, and I have to commend you about opening up about your mental health and just so many other things. You talked about being in a place in your life where you felt like you surrounded yourself with unsafe people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You seem like you're in a great place now and mm -hmm. in a wonderful relationship. Mm -hmm. What's different now and how much safer do you feel? Work. I had to do a lot of work. You know, it's, it's you can't point fingers at anybody else. Um, you become an adult and you point the finger at yourself and if you want differently for yourself. I'm lucky enough that I live in a time where reaching out and asking for help is is readily available. I, you know, my mother, I go, oh my God, she never had the opportunity to say, I, I want someone to talk to. You know, therapy, 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 and and constantly working on myself, admitting when I'm wrong. Um, and I do it a lot, um, but just I wanted things to be different for myself because I was blessed with a, a beautiful child who deserved to have a mother who did the work will always do the work um, and is is healthy you know they deserve it and really quick before I let you go I have to ask you about a fun little story that you told GQ about oh, Keanu Reeves delivering champagne and truffles yes, through that. okay through that. how does one resist that type of charm and not end up just swooning and dating Keanu Reeves well I mean, he, he had no desire to date me he just wanted me to have champagne and truffles you know like when when there's an energy between people that is a certain way it just, it, it's its beautiful. And I, I, you know, he wanted me to have the experience. He dropped it off. We had a moment, I tried it, it's very good, it's very good. I've never had it since. That was my one time, you know? 